Hello and welcome to Authentication with Norgeas. This is the beginner's guide on authentication. In this video, we will create a simple system where user can sign up and login. And a user, a login user can access some protected routes. Okay, here we will use Express Station to authenticate our web app, Node app with template engine and we'll use a JWT to authenticate our web APIs okay let's get started I have a simple setup here oops I have a simple code here so where we are using Express uh, we import the Express session we have some database information and we are using the easiest templating engine and we are using express url encoded to get the uh, body the form data from from the body and we are using the express session we provide the secret and these two other options now whenever we send the get request to sign up and login we simply render that views from the views so let's check the sign up first so in the sign up we have name email and password we get the name email and password and we'll simply save that name email and password yeah we are saving just the plain text for the simplicity we won't use this 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 method in the production also it next so whenever a user is created we simply response as the user has been created okay uh, i think the sign up process is clear and uh, let's go to the login process so whenever we get the email and password, we'll find the user associated with that email and that password. If the user is matched, we'll get that user. And if didn't, we'll say email and password didn't match again. Okay. So the main thing is here. So if we find the user, we will set the session that user, the session object to user, the request that session, that user to user, okay. Now uh, here we will we simply is assigning an a user object to the session session object okay so what express session will do is whenever we alter this session the express session will create a session id and resp add that session id as a cookie for this response so whenever we alter this session uh, cookie information will be sent to the front end and the front end will send that cookie information in the subsequent request okay and next the session express session will assign this object this object that has been assigned to session to that session id okay so in the next next request whenever the express session get check the cookie information and if the cookie information is matched with the current cookie that's in the system it will simply populate this request that session to the user for the next request okay i think it's been clear uh, i'll just show that here as well uh, so we have this simple system if we check now we have no cookies associated with it right now so let's log in and i have created this account okay i can or we can simply create that here as well we create the user and we can log in now we can check still that we don't have we have no cookies here so whenever we log in as i say whenever we log in what will happen is it will find this user information and it will assign this user to the session okay on doing that uh, the express session will attach a session a cookie cookie information to the res this response so with this response our browser get a cookie uh, and uh, as we know cookie will be sent to every subsequent request okay so whenever we get uh, we send the request to me from this browser next uh, it will attach, attach this cookie to information this attach this that it will attach the cookie to the request as well okay and we have this is auth middleware so what this is auth middleware will do is it will check if the user have 
the session attached or not if the if the user the session has the user information attached which is it will simply let it pass the request to the next chain and if it's not it will redirect to the login page okay so once we log in as we can see we have the cookie information here so whenever we send my profile a request to my profile it will simply get that my profile information okay so uh, let me talk about that again so whenever we set the session uh, it will create uh, the express session will create a session id uh, response that session id as a cookie so here we can see that this is the session id associated with that request and internally what express session will do is uh, ma keep track of this session id and the object assigned to this uh, that session id okay uh, in the next request so whenever we get next request uh, in this in this part uh, as this is used in middleware it it will be passed from every request so what this express express session will do is it will check its store to find if there is the session id the cookie id associated with that if there is any session information associated with that cookie id if there is it will simply populate uh, the user object the session object with that information okay so if the user is a login it, it will populate this information if the user is not login there is no cookie information or uh, the cookie information is not in the store it will simply let this user be null and we if we check this information we can know if the user is authenticated or not if it's null is not authenticated if it's if there is the information with that user it is authenticated so here it's like the user is authenticated and we let the user login okay i think it sound complicated but that's how it work as i said we will never use that the we'll never save the plain text information in the database for that app and the setup so uh, we, we will use bcrypt we keep to encrypt our as our password so in the sign up we just get the password as usual and we'll hash the password using the hash method from express from bcrypt we'll hash the password from bcrypt and save the hash password in the database so i think it's clear we'll simply hash the password and save the hash password in the database now as before we cannot simply compare the password with the hash password because they will never match so what we'll, we will do is we'll get the email and the password from the user we'll find the user associated with that email okay so once if we find the user we will we'll have that hashed password that that's been saved in the database and the password that user has provided us now we can compare if this password will match the hash password okay it will compare the hash of these two if they match it will return true if false it will simply return false so if if they compare and if they are masked we simply assign the session as before and we we'll simply response that user has been logging successfully this will simply response that the email and password did not match okay yeah we'll as the password and we'll do this way in our real world application just to just about the authentication that password part okay now let's talk about the json web token let me work on my post name first check out jwt okay now i have changed something here so we'll simply on the login we can simply ignore that for now so in the sign up we'll get that name as usual we'll ask the password and save that as a user and once the user is logged in we simply redirect that we'll simply response that user has been created and 
the main thing about this is the post request or oh, okay the login login request okay so first uh, let's see that we are using json web token and i have configured json secret here as well in the config file as we need to we need this con section to we need this session to to sign the to sign the token and to uh, decode the token as well okay so i prefer to save it on the separate configuration file let's run the server okay so in the postman i have this sign up so in the sign up we'll we'll choose the raw and json and for that we have configured to use express json as well okay so in the login we'll simply send name email and password okay let's set to bill here okay now if we send it, it was the response that account has been created and that this and that information okay and the login process is same as before and there is something different on the sign up process is same as before and there is some different difference on login page so we'll login we take username and password so what now now what we got in response is the token okay or token and let's take this token thing so whenever we log in we first get the user associated with that email then we compare the hashed password with the password provided by user if the password is masked uh, this is a process where we get remove the password information from this user so it won't be it won't be saved on the token as well as it won't be response to client so check here we have jwt json web token and we use the sign method where here we will provide that user information first the information that need to be signed so that information that we next we require in other request so we'll have that and we'll have json we'll have json secret and we'll have the we have the expire information okay so whenever the information will be expired so uh, after seven day the token will be invalid okay so in the sign we have the information what need to be compressed uh, okay what need to be signed okay we will we can get this information on the decode and the secret and other options okay here we'll provide that expires in only so we'll get the token okay now we can use this token information to send other requests okay for now let's send this wait to no authentication in the me okay there's something wrong in the code let me check that S T A T U S S T A T S U Okay in the auth I have something wrong So here is the setting where if the authentication header is missing it you Yes. It will simply response that the authentication header is missing. Okay, before that, in the me page, 
we have this ease up middleware so what this ease up will do is it will, it will look for the authentication header if it's missing it will simply say that authentication header is missing and if it's not you will get that authentication header so it should act as a bearer token and we have this token information here Let's paste it and send it okay now we get the user information so what will it will do is in this authorization information the this data the backend will get this token as bearer comma uh, this token okay so we to get the token we simply split that with index one split in the space and get the second so index one okay so we get the token and we just use the dwt verify option to verify if the token is valid or not okay um, we can use jwt decoder to decode the information but it won't check the validity expiration date and this and that if the jwt is valid and it doesn't throw any error um, it doesn't throw any error we simply assign that user requested user to jw we'll simply assign the user information in the request object to the data that's been extracted from the jwt okay as we remember in the login page we save this user user without password thing and so whenever the authentication is passed we'll simply get uh, the user from the decoded token and we find the user associated with that account using the user id and we'll simply redirect that information here okay i think it's it's kind of confusing to understand but uh, that's how the authentication flow works i see lots of people using password js to do the authentication but i want you to understand how this actually works so this is my simple attempt to make you clear if this is not clear of or anything you need clarification on let me know i'll be here to help okay thank you have a good day